This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech, talking about CE 3303 solids. This is another problem from a recent test. We're taking a what's called a plain frame. I call it kind of a bent bar because all members are rigidly fixed, connected to each other. We're talking about using the sign convention for internal forces with compression on the left side of the column, which is this part here compression on the left side caused by a positive internal moment. So I've shown my internal moment in this direction to cause compression on the left side per the instructions. Okay, here's my loads for one situation, six kips, two kips per foot. The dimensions are as shown. First one thing I want to know is what is the normal force in A at section AA. So I've cut a section there, I've put my internal forces on it, and uh, if you look at it, really in the sum of the forces in the Y direction, all I have in the Y is this 2 kips per foot distributed times 16 feet. So summing, assuming positive is up, I get negative 2 times 16 plus my NA, normal force so it's just equal to 32 kips and it's in compression uh, sum of forces in the x direction is equal to zero positive to the right I have my six kip per force up there that's all I've got in the y externally applied I mean the x direction and then I have my internal force which in this case is the shear at plane at section A. It's an easy calculation. The shear is six kips to the right. Well, it really wasn't asked for that. Finally, what's the moment in this column at section A? Uh, some moments counterclockwise is positive. It's equal to zero. It's equal to negative six times 14 feet, the moment arm. It's negative because it's clockwise, plus, because it's positive, because it's counterclockwise, in accordance with my sign assumption, 2 times 16, 32 kips, times the moment arm of 8 feet, half of that 16 feet, and then MA, I've assumed positive, in accordance with the instructions, cause compression on the left side. Bringing that over to the other side of the equal sign, I get MA is equal to negative 84 plus 256, just doing all the math. I get 172 foot kips clockwise. Very similar problem, just slightly different dimensions and a different force here. Some of the forces in Y, negative 2 times 16 plus NA, I've got the same normal force, 32 kips compression. Some of the forces in the X direction, 0. For my x, only x force I have on there, minus VA, my assumed shear reaction, internal force. So VA is equal to 4 kips to the left. Once again, finally summing moments about point A, counterclockwise positive. I get the negative 4 because it's clockwise times its moment arm of 16, plus 2 times 16 times 8. Exact same calculation is up here. 16 times 2 gives me the force times 8 is the moment arm minus MA, do the math, MA is equal to 192 foot kips.